Gonna be taking this thing out on the water for its very first test ride with the 1100 Kawasaki triple installed. Hey, it's Josh here and nothing on this jet boat goes easy and this is no different when we unleash the fury of this 1100 Kawasaki. So make sure to stay locked into Jet Ski Brothers cause you are not gonna wanna miss what happens next. There might be points in the video where you're like, oh, it seems like it's running okay. But there will be no doubt in your mind when this thing starts running properly because it takes off like an absolute savage. I love it! It's like the sea rat all over again. It's the debut of the 1100 in the little jet boat. I'm a little bit nervous, a little bit excited. This boat has had some good times, also quite a few bad times, meaning like times when it had trouble. short-lived So I'm gonna look under the hood. Ah, oh, crap. Not the way I wanted it to go to start. <sighs> Typical fashion, I pulled it out of the water. It's on the trailer. I fired it up real quick, it ran fine. So now I'm gonna put some water into the hose and see if that makes any difference. <laughs> if this hose is turned on. Well, shoot. Nah. Did you solve it? I don't know what to do. It's like it runs fine on the hose, but you saw when I was out there, it was terrible. Uh, got 550 syndrome. It is a Kawasaki after all. <laughs> all right, well, shoot. I gotta decide what to do. Give it another shot, I guess. <laughs>
obviously I'm having trouble out there. Decided to kind of look into the carbs and I found that this carb was bone dry inside. So that's definitely going to be a bit of an issue. No clue how it's running that good out of the water with it being dry like that. You can see it's completely dry right there. Everything in here is completely dry. Something's blocked between this line and where the fuel comes in. I thought it would be the fuel screen is clogged, but that is not the case. And I just dropped the tiny screw on the ground. No! <laughs> but I'm gonna get this taken care of. All right, here's it running on the hose after I cleaned the carbs out. They hear a little bit of pump chatter.
crap. That's a hell of a ride, let me tell you. It's terrible. But once it gets on the pipe, once it's got all three hit, all hitting on all three. Yeah. You like if you try to turn and hit a wave, it just the whole thing comes out and goes sideways. Yeah, and you're just like boom. That's a wild ride, man. Are you ready to give it a shot? I sure am. Okay. All right, guys. Hopefully, we can get that thing on the pipe for a flyby. The camera here. Got my little chair. Oh my gosh. Now that, it goes into like full rocket mode and it's like, oh man. The adrenaline spike is out of this world. And I'm like, when I, if I turn this thing at full speed, it feels like it's gonna like launch and then do a barrel roll and like land me upside down. Yep, it really has that feeling, don't it? Yeah. And I'm just like, oh, while I barrel roll, I can just smash my teeth into the side bars. Yeah, it has become a oh. must wear helmet type of deal. I was like, oh, I don't want to go that hard. Oh, dude, my hand is like cramping from when I rode it. Oh man, that was really exciting though. And I, I'd definitely go for wearing a helmet next time. <laughs> I would feel better. You got your helmet here. Yeah, no, I just, next time I'll put it on. All right, let's see how much water's in the bilge. Eh, it's not too bad, not too bad. Jacob's here with me. Hi, guys. I'll go sit out on the log and try to film you as best I can. Okay. Uh, yeah. Good luck. You might need it. I'll try. I didn't fall in. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's yeah. a heck of a thing. <laughs> sure is. It's like you're out there and it's like, 
All right, I'm gonna light this candlestick. Hopefully yeah. it doesn't explode. Oh man. It's on the pipe, yeah. It's, it's strange. All right, guys. Well, the plan is to basically be done, unless I'm gonna go ahead and take the cylinder head off and inspect the head gasket. If it is having like a water leak into the combustion chamber, we're gonna see if we can square that away. We might try it again this evening or come back out tomorrow. Exactly, but either way, we're gonna wanna find out. <laughs> or let's see if let's see if this thing has any more video. <laughs> I'm just swapping out the head gasket on the boat. See if that makes any difference. Kind of wonder if there's water getting into the combustion chambers. Jacob was over here working on the bullet, trying to like get that thing squared away. Hey Jacob, say hi to everyone. Hey there. And Jason is over here wrenching away on his 550 750 conversion. Oh, I guess he's hammering away. Hey, Jason, say hi. Oh, there. hey, guys. I was just working on the ski. We're all kind of wrenching away. Hopefully, we'll all get out there tomorrow and do some more uh, ripping. Bunch of work on the motor, put a cylinder head gasket on it, uh, redid the leads on the spark plug wires, and went ahead and went through the carburetors. It's running pretty much about the same. It's still not quite right, so I'm going to tear this thing down a little bit and see if I can figure out what is going on. Here's the deal, I got the uh, cylinder pulled off of this 1100. It's in the little jet boat here. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on with this thing. Um, I have ran compression on this. It's 100, 90, 100. So, still not stellar compression numbers, but we should be able to run with those numbers. But I wanted to take it apart and see what's going on with this center piston obviously it's got a lot of um streaks on it i i was wondering if i was going to find a busted piston ring and that's you know i was wondering if that's what the little piece i found in the intake was going to be but that all looks just completely fine now that i'm looking at it i'm wondering oh i'm pretty certain that that piece i found was a piece of this clip. I'm almost certain of it now. Piece of this, uh, you know, the retainer clip. I found there's, it's a bit, a bit uh, messed up right in this area here as well. On the top of the piston, you can see where something has passed. I'm sure it was that piece of C-clip. And it has, you know, 
similar pattern on the head. But this piston is still making 90 compression in the condition that it's in. Obviously, this clip doesn't make me too excited. I'm sure that's what those... Remember that little piece where I was like, oh, this is a little gem here when I was putting it together. I'm sure that's what that was from. But it looks like there was another piece of it that got passed through the engine. But still, with 190 and 100, I would have expected it to run out a little bit better than it did. Clearly, it's not optimum. But I'm again at these crossroads where do I want to put any time into this engine? And I'm starting to think no because what's the point? This isn't my engine, so any time or money I dump into it is just kind of wasted because it's coming out of this thing anyways. I do have two triples that I could put in here that belong to me. They're not put together right now, but I'll be the one that puts them together, so I'll be comfortable and confident that they're gonna run. Here it is, the mini jet boat in my garage on the precipice of what is about to happen next. You can see the 1100 Kawasaki sitting in there disassembled, and I'm trying to decide, do I put it back together, give it another shot? There could be multitudes of problems going on with it, uh, fuel related, ignition related, or, you know, mechanically engine related to that compression. Also, you can see I have the 1200 power valve sitting on the bench. That would be probably, I think those are 150 horsepower. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong on that. Uh, I don't know the specs on a 1200R off the top of my head. We have a 155 horsepower Sea-Doo engine sitting right there, ready to go into something. I got a, whatever the heck the horsepower is on the 717 Sea-Doo. That's definitely not going in there. <laughs> Just wanted to spell that right away. Also have the option of a Suzuki 900, which I believe is either 110 or 105 horsepower. Something's definitely gonna happen with this boat one way or the other. So keep it locked in here at Jet Ski Brothers because you are not going to want to miss what happens next.